Alice Cooper says Johnny Depp trial was so blown out of proportion, nobody cared. Alice Cooper recently completed a two-month tour with his Hollywood vampires bandmate Johnny Depp. But he claims they never discussed Depp's widely publicized defamation trial against ex-wife Amber Heard. I don't think it was ever mentioned on the tour because nobody cared, Cooper explained in an interview with Fulcher. I never watched any of the trials. It was completely blown out of proportion. It was such a Hollywood thing. I knew Johnny would win because how many individuals have other ex-partners practically testifying for them? That never occurs. I switched it off and said, well, you know, Johnny will weather this storm, and when he's on stage, he's our guitarist. In 2012, Cooper formed Hollywood Vampires with Depp and Joe Perry, the guitarist from Aerosmith. A year after the televised slander trial, the quartet toured the United Kingdom and Europe from June to July. When asked if there was any hesitation in bringing Depp on tour due to the domestic abuse claims against him, Cooper replied, not at all. If you talk to Johnny about it, it was something that happened, that's what he stated. He just said, sure, sure, what's the next song? Johnny believes the situation was not blown out of proportion, but he questions why it was televised. It's because both persons are famous. Cooper continued, The best thing I said about the whole thing was, they should do a remake of War of the Roses with Johnny and Amber. Who's not going to see that? I am going to see that. To make things even better, make their lawyers Angie and Brad. All you need is a really humorous filmmaker, and it'll be a huge hit. In June 2022, a Virginia jury determined that her defamed Depp in a 2018 Washington Post opus ed that alluded to her previous claims of domestic violence. The jury also found that Depp defamed Heard while contesting her charges. Depp was granted $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages, which were reduced to $350,000 in accordance with the state's statutory cap. The jury awarded her $2 million in compensatory damages for her counterclaim.